am I doing? Whew! I got so cold. Oh. Okay. Oh my god, it's still cold. We're filming here. Can you be quiet? Hey guys, I've missed you guys. I hope you guys had a great holiday season. I hope you guys are having a happy new year. Uh, it's the 31st right now. So I meant to record this early this morning and I didn't, so <laughs> that's it. I've taken just, uh, just over two weeks off. I know a few of you have messaged me and just been like, did you stop? I know I abruptly stopped making videos and posting photos and things and i apologize for completely disappearing off the map but i'm back now uh this is my last few days in phoenix but i wanted to look back because 2018 was a life-changing year for me 2018 quit drinking this has been a huge one i'm so proud of that coming up on nine months uh because that was not helping me in any way with any of my problems that i was facing and i made a decision at that time to focus on mental health and physical health. I lost weight, got therapy, got on meds. Making those small changes changed my life so much and inspired me to do so many things. I have ended up going to 14 different countries. I've made 55 videos this year and I've taken 20 flights. That's not including buses and trains and everything else and the taxis. I've done a ton of traveling and that is coming from someone who this time last year had never left the United States. I'm pretty proud of that. And that's all because of a decision. Stop wallowing in negativity, ending toxic relationships, and start worrying about what I'm surrounding myself with. I have to be honest, it was quitting drinking for me. I was going to meetings, and one of the meetings I stumbled into was a meditation meeting. And we had to sit with our eyes closed for 15 minutes. It was the first time I'd ever actually meditated in my life. And that's where this whole idea came from, was closing my eyes and just being with myself and my thoughts for 15 minutes. That's how this all came to be. So I'm eternally grateful for the positive changes I made last year. It's been a lot of fun, but uh, we're going into the new year now, and this, which is why I'm making this video now. Um, Cause I'm gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going for a long time. I'm super excited of what 2019 is gonna bring. I didn't go into last year setting any real goals because I was in such a bad place, but this year I'm gonna set goals. I'm more motivated than ever to continue to learn and grow. So here are my goals. My 2019, I wanna keep going. I wanna make 250 videos this year to produce content that is entertaining, educational, funny, relevant, personal to me, and something that you all enjoy. This is dumb. I don't have, I should have had like an easel. That would have made this easier. I want to learn how to make a living with film, with photography. That's gonna be part of my journey in 2019 is finding out how I'm gonna make a living doing this because I have been straight up setting money on fire for the last four months and it is getting terrifying. So one other crazy goal that I'm doing this year that is just like boggling my mind kind of, if you guys go back and watch, I think the first video I've ever made, maybe the second video, I think it's the second video. If you go to the Coney Island video, I'm sorry, it's not good, but Austin's in that video. He's hilarious. He's one of the funniest guys I know. Uh, I've missed him a ton, but we've been in contact and uh, he and I went from being drug buddies to being sober buddies to being gym buddies, but he got it in his head that this year, He's gonna run the New York City Marathon. And he invited me to run it with him. And I said, yeah. So that's one of my goals in 2019 to run the New York City Marathon. I think I have about 40 to 50 miles under my belt over the last couple weeks alone, but I have never run a mile. I couldn't even tell you what my high school mile was because I faked an injury for the entire year to get out of running the mile. I am not a runner whatsoever. I was never one for like aerobic exercise. I can lift heavy things, but not a runner whatsoever. So I've been training for about two weeks now and I'm gonna continue to do that for the next few months. That doesn't feel real to me still, but it's very, very real. So my goal is to make 250 videos this year. I wanna learn how to make a living doing what I'm doing. And then I will be running the New York City Marathon. And then I have one more little super secret project that I'm putting in the works right now that I will tell you guys about later. Those are my goals for 2019. 
So moving on, that means what does 2019 look like? The start of this trip has been really crazy. I was moving around every, you know, two or three days. I might might have stayed in the place for like a week or something like that. Um, now I'm going to slow my roll just a little bit. I got to Southeast Asia just like I planned. I went and did Europe. I know that I missed a lot of the big things because I got sidetracked, but I'm flying back to Shanghai on January 3rd and then going immediately to Bangkok, Thailand. Uh, instead of jumping around to hostels or hotel rooms or uh, moving around to all these different cities, what I did is I found an Airbnb for an entire month in a beautiful apartment. I will show you guys that when I get there. That's gonna be so cool. But I have a beautiful apartment in Bangkok, Thailand. So I'll be able to set up a little studio to produce content in there and to work. When I first left, I was very compact and just kind of like running around with cheapy cheap gear that was pretty easily replaceable. Um, now it's a little more expensive. So I've been worried about where I can stay. But now that I have a centrally located place, I'll have a, a locked apartment to store all of my big items. And then what I can do is take smaller day trips. And so I can still film around Southeast Asia, all these different parts, but I won't be uh, like full on having to lug my suitcases everywhere. So that's what I'm very excited about. Um, right now, my plan is to stay in Southeast Asia through March, I think, maybe through the end of March. Um, because honestly, I've been missing New York. I've been missing my friends that I have there. I've been missing kind of the lifestyle of New York. New York City is, it just feels like home to me. Even being back in Phoenix, where my home is, it's like my childhood home. But my real home still feels like New York City. That's where I've spent the last four years of my life. I've been missing New York a lot, but I know that right now, New York is not the New York that I love. New York is the cold, hellish winterscape that I can't do. I hate winter so much. So I'm going to be in Thailand and Southeast Asia, probably through February at least, then I might jump around to another country or two, but I'm gonna be staying at places for like an entire month. Uh, that's gonna help me optimize my workflow, Again, with doing things like the Shutterstock and building that online store, as well as my other projects, I just want to be able to have consistency. I want to be able to consistently produce. And the only thing that was constant was that I was packing all the time. I was just in and out of suitcases and constantly packing. And that is one thing that I want to make less consistent over the next few months. Um, so maybe April, March, I want to go back to New York City uh, for a few reasons. I think my money Unless I somehow strike it rich, I think my money is going to be running pretty low at that point. Um, so I'm going to have to go back to moving or doing something else. Maybe just be back in the U.S. at least. Um, and I, there are plenty of ways I know how to make money in New York City, being a handyman and mover and all the things that I used to do. Thinking of New York City now through the lens of a camera, it excites me so much more. I really want to go back. I can't wait to go back in spring. And uh, I mean, it's just such a beautiful picturesque city to film in. So excited for that. Another reason that I wanna go back to New York City is that I'm going to start really seriously training for the marathon at that point. I'm gonna be running like almost every single day for the next few months, uh, but then I need to get on a really serious training program because Austin and I are similar in that regard is that we will say something really dumb, we'll throw out an outlandish idea and then we will just go for it to the nth degree. And we're like, we have a good friendly competition where we are talking a lot of each other, but it's also in like really good fun because we've been through on such a journey together uh, through sobriety and all that stuff. It's just been cool. So yeah, when he said he's running the New York City Marathon and invited me, I was like, that'd be the coolest freaking thing to be able to run and like go through all five boroughs of the city that almost killed me. It sounds super, super cool and just cathartic. Like I conquer it. Come March, April, I want to get back to New York City to really start uh, training, getting in physical shape, getting my money right. I realize now that I can travel anywhere at any time. I am a citizen of the world now and I can just move whenever I want. So I'm not gonna be getting on a lease in New York City, but I'll just be staying there for probably six months or so until I wanna pack up and travel again. So, and I'll be traveling from New York as well. I've never been to Canada. Um, I've never been out to like Jamaica and, and all of those islands out there. There's so many places that I wanna see that I can travel to from New York. So. That's what my 2019 is looking like. That's what my 2019 goals are. I want to put it out there because I used to be a person that would just talk about things and never act on them. And I have proven to myself over the last year that I can do things and I can make things and create things. And I can will this into existence if I wanted to. So 
250 videos, living in Southeast Asia for the next three or four months, and somehow running 26.2 miles through all five boroughs of one of the greatest cities that I've ever had the pleasure of living in, in the world. But please head over to YouTube, subscribe there, follow me on Instagram. This thing is gonna keep on going uh, straight through 2019, and I am super stoked about the ideas and the plans I have for this year, and I cannot wait to bring you along on the journey. Tell me down below what your goals are. We are gonna revisit this. I'm gonna pick out some of you. We're gonna talk in 2020 or at the end of 2019, and we are gonna make sure that we are hitting our goals together. We're gonna to check in. Thank you guys so much for all the support through 2018. I look forward to bringing you more in 2019. I will see you guys in one year to celebrate accomplishing all these goals. Thanks so much.